I got a couple of poems for you uh, this fine morning. Um, the first one, I have, I'm committed to doing new work, but I'm not sure if I'm committed to fully memorizing it yet. So I may have to cheat and pull out the high-tech Aztec phone here and do this one. But I wrote this poem. Uh, that was, uh, I had a, a crush on a professor at UNM. And so I usually don't use academic language in my poetry, but I was trying to impress her, so I did it with this one. It's called, it's called The Archetype of the Homegirl. I call her homegirl all the time, Dr. Homegirl. All right, so there it is. Wouldn't read it to her, but I'll read it to you guys. You have no idea how archetypal you are, homegirl. You are a Sunday mass daydream, a Saturday morning confession, a first holy communion crush. You are Nueva Mexicana Catholic delusion. You are the girl in class and the puppy love teacher all at once. I've trained myself to let you pass me by. I know better than to go chasing archetypes or girls with boyfriends. Cause I knew you'd be gone after the semester, after graduation, just like you were gone after Easter, La Quaresma and confirmation and I'd never see you again. You're like that song I heard on the all night radio cruising the highway in my truck. That one song I really liked, who sang it? You know, I never heard that song again, but I'd know it if I heard it again. Yeah, I think I saw you back at the church fiestas when we were kids. Maybe I heard you singing in the choir, or was it just your archetype I saw at La Posada? The archetypal reason I begged my grandparents to take me to Spanish mass even though I couldn't understand a goddamn word they were saying. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll be saints. You are la santa profesora teaching that one class. I'm never late and I never ditch. And when I catch your ear, you never seem to mention that boyfriend of yours. Homegirl, I'm a sinner. So pray for me in the dim light of that church where I think I first seen you, Matachine girl. The girl I think of as my mind wanders, just like my mind wandered over that first girl back when I first liked girls. Maybe you'll be mine in another lifetime. So until then, I'll pray for you, homegirl. And thank me, Tata Dios, that I learned my prayers, that I daydreamed all day in class about you, but that I paid enough attention in class to know what the hell an archetype is. <laughs> thank you. I made it through that one. I only mixed a few words around on accident, but none of y'all noticed, right? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so I got one more for you. Um, I uh, recently uh, got to go to the Individual World Poetry Slam in Phoenix. Uh, 72 poets competed. Um, I got in, I won the Last Chance Slam, which is like the, the, the wild card if you're a sports fan. And then I made it all the way to the championship and I placed sixth in the world. It was really cool. I got to, I got to do this poem for like a thousand people. It was cool. And then I came home, my students didn't care at all. He's like, <laughs> like, whatever, mister, you just read poems. Like, yeah, I really like yelled poems at people. It was cool, guys, so. Here's the poem that uh, I was eliminated with. <laughs> there was no wind the day Juana battled the machine. Smoke rose from the stacks of the downtown tortilla factory, slow like the wrinkled steady hands de las viejitas. Cocineras whose fingers were callous as the spirits of their mothers. They were the assembly line of ancient faces. They worked for coins off their husbands' wages. Mothers of the New Deal labored their bones dull with the factory whistle at dawn. Arina y manteca became the skin on their palms. 50 pounds of flour each dark morning. Their grip stung, salt grains, leavening, tortillas rounded like the suffered crown of the god carved in the altar. Their god hung above the stove, rounded by rolling pins cut from cedars, smooth with hidden splinters in their hands, and dough rose before the sun. And this morning hung bitter in Juana's mouth, like the daylight that did not stretch over her tongue when she woke, when the women found machines on the factory floor where they once stood. Here are your replacements, the boss growled like rusting metal. There's no work for you here. I want you all out. And the ancient faces gazed like forgotten saints they once prayed to. 
Some cursed the foreman's name, their fists clenched tighter than the gears on the machines that took their jobs. But Juana didn't move, she stood still heavy, her wrinkles run fierce like flooding arroyos when she said, I'm faster than any damn machine. And the engine fired, conveyor belt rolled tamales, each an exact copy of the last. Juana took the table beside, handful of masa, corn husk hidden in her skin, she spread masa, carne y chile, each glide of her hand, like wiping tears from her daughter's face, wiped sweat with back of fist, her salt a blessing of food at the table. She knew it didn't matter if she beat the machine. She gone like so many Mexicanas, riding like nopals beneath the tractor's heels, just as their men's backs were replaced with forklifts and backhoes. But an engine does not name its children after a passing rain cloud, does not brush dead leaves from headstones, and never learn the recipe from her grandmother's tongue. The machine fired la hoja, la masa, la carne, el chile, bled the crevice in the hands. La hoja, la masa, la carne, el chile, wrapped the bandana of Juana's hair. La hoja, la masa, la carne, el chile, her husband buried in the Philippines. La hoja, La masa, la carne, el chile, her daughter's birth cries. La hoja, la masa, la carne, el chile, the shadow on her wedding day. La hoja, la masa, la carne, el chile, became the peasant maid's machete. As the engine sang the death of the laborer's breath, the foreman's eyes never left Juana's face. As the machine slowed down, smoke and motor oil snaked the air when the conveyor stopped. Juana crushed the last tamal. Her voice stung like a snake's venom in the chile when she cussed out the foreman. Cabrón, esa me pundió Marga Silvio Sonso. Toma las tamales y ponlos adentro de su. <laughs> and her shadow stained the floor where she stood. The next day, the machines unloaded. The women manned the controls, but Juana never showed for work. Some said she joined the army, maybe opened a restaurant. Some said she became a corn plant rooted in burning soil, but really none of them knew. Still their throats all burn from the steam, the gears grind off and rust in their dreams, their mouths all dry when they say the name of the woman and sing legends of the day. Juana Henrietta made tamales against the machine. Cool, thank you very much. I love performing for you all. <laughs>